everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. I am excited to say that today is day 31 of Bible journaling in May, and the Lord has been faithful and He has enabled me to make a video for every day this month, and for that I am very thankful. Um, so yeah, today is the last day of May. I will not be continuing the dailies. However, I have another project in mind for a little while, at least in June. So uh, stay tuned. The word will still be presented just in a different way. Um, so today, the word was maintain. And I found this really cool section of scripture. And I couldn't just do the one verse. I had to take the whole context of it. So it's Philippians 2, verses 1 through 11, and I took it from the NASB. And it reads, Therefore, if there is any encouragement in Christ, if any consolation of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion, Make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility consider one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Have this attitude in yourself, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, as he already existed in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a bondservant and being born in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, death on a cross. For this reason, also God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. I was so happy to find this section of scripture because to me it sums up everything that we have been talking about all month. Um, and there's some things in here that I just feel really need to be said and really need to be uh, focused on for many people because Yes, the word maintaining is in here, and that's what led me to this section. But what I really found so um, potent or powerful in this section, consider one another as more important than yourselves. That was one thing, because that's the definition of love. Do not merely look out for your personal interests, but the interests of others. And then this attitude was in Christ. Who, and this is the part, who, as he already existed in the form of God. So Jesus was God before he ever came to earth. He did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. In other words, he didn't consider equality with God to be something to held on to. He was willing to take a lower position for a time. He emptied himself. He took the form of a bondservant or a slave, and he was born in the likeness of men. He was found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death. Who would do that? Who would take on, like who would cast aside their greatness 
and become something less in order to die that the something less around you could be as great as you. It, that, that just boggles my mind. But that's what he did. For this reason, I think God was very pleased. He highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I think what Jesus did was so amazing. And I think God was, I don't know if God gets impressed, but if he would be impressed by anything, I think it would be the fact that Jesus was willing to put it all aside in order to bring these sinners, these sinful people into the family. And so that's what made Jesus great. Remember he said the other day, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, you got to be a servant of all. Well, Jesus was a servant of all in the point that he died so that all could come to him and be saved. So when I was reading this yesterday, I was just like, wow. The more you get to know Jesus, the more you see how not ordinary, how spectacular, how amazing and awesome he really is. And so with that, I encourage you to keep looking in the scriptures for Jesus. Keep looking for his character. Keep looking for things that show you who he is and what he's about. And uh, he will do great things for you, through you, to you and in you. And he won't stop because our time here is limited and he's coming soon. So be ready. Be looking up. Be waiting. In Jesus' name. God bless you all and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.